Bada boop, it's Music Lover, and welcome to the top 10 worst songs of 2017. Before I begin this video, yes, I am producing this later, recording it later, I mean, um, because I've been sick. So yeah. Also, just a little disclaimer, this video may have me raging in it, so. <laughs> Sorry to my younger listeners, if I do start swearing. But let's get on with this video. Yeah, This year was better than last year as far as pop music goes. It sure was a better year than 2016 in my opinion. What are your opinions anyways? Yeah. The first half of 2017 was actually pretty decent in music. However, there were lots of very bad and poorly written songs. And here are my top 10 worst songs of 2017. Remember that these songs are my opinions, and feel free to leave your opinions in the comments below. <clears throat> Number 10, Praying by Kesha. Kesha's return was not all that great. This song is very slow and personal to her. Her vocals in the higher range sound... It, it sounds terrible. Very terrible. At some points, her voice just cracks and squeaks. She was supposed to come back and create upbeat pop music, but her return was very poor. I would rather like take something from her that is upbeat than this song. My goodness, why are slow personal ballads so popular nowadays? I don't know. Do you guys know? <laughs> Number 9, Slow Hands by Nile Horn. The percussion on this song is so choppy and you can actually hear that it is horrible if you are wearing headphones, you know, listening as well headphones. It's bad. Now Horn is Irish, so he should know that girls will easily get drunk and want sex from guys. And, you know, Irish, they drink a lot, so yeah. The lyrics are also as choppy as the percussion. Now needs to also pick a lane to fit in, you know, a direction of where to go. Um, I would actually like, I would enjoy listening to this town rather than slow hands which way would he go i'd rather he go with him like and the town he was going with this town that direction than slow hands because this town was 10 times better than slow hands this town actually had like acoustic guitar had really decent vocal you know it had decent melody it was better so much better just listen to that percussion you don't get it in it. you don't get it in that other song you get on the, the weird choppy percussion, choppy vocals. And like sweat pouring down your dirty laundry. Really? I know what that actually means, but seriously. That's slow hands like sweat pouring down our dirty laundry. Wow. Anyways, number eight, Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. This is another song about sex. Ed Sheeran has made up two songs this year dealing with sex. I can only tolerate perfect more than this one, and I don't care if that song was meant to be in another song, you know, to get drunk to. It still is a terrible song. Also, the song sounds like an awful, like, like cheap thrills, you know, that dum, dum, bum, bum, dum, 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 dum. If you listen to that, put it over cheap thrills, dum, dum, dum. You know, if you put it over those two beats, it, it sounds pretty much the same. The melody was taken from Cheap Thrills, actually. How original, right? Castle on the Hill is ten times better. And that, actually, Castle on the Hill is Ed Sheeran's best song this year. Uh, number seven. Issues by Julia Michaels. The chords on this song are boring, bland, and just terrible. However, the drums add some rhythm to the melody. Uh, at least the song was an okay title, I guess. However, I can hear her voice just cracking on the very high notes. Like an issue, you know, too. Like, and just put auto tune like that, and you know that could be easily fixed. Her voice sounds very whiny too. I think she could seek some vocal coaching. <clears throat> what am I? What are you guys saying? Um. All right, number six, Colleague by Logic featuring Alesha Kara. 
Um, I know that there's a num there's a number, but I was too lazy to get it. Uh, so I just used this colleague. All right, guys. Excuse me. Um, I have to admit something very bad. I didn't listen to the lyrics when this song first came out. I thought it was a joke and a good song to sing along to. Mm. Yeah, I remember those old days when that happened. However, this song was very depressing and for me to put on this list. Very depressing. Basically, it sounds, sounds like a depressing person who wants to die, but it makes depression sound like a joke, like, who can relate? Woo! Who jokes about depression? The song is very depressing for me to talk about. Yeah, it is. Because during this year, I was trying to help someone overcome their depression. I'm not going to name who it was, just for the sake of, just for the sake of pointing out people. In the end, I needed to tell him to get over himself and go find someone else. I told him that having friends and people around you to support you won't fix things. And this song is full of pain and distress, and it also sounds like it is mentioning suicide. Logic is trying to paint a picture of someone who is getting ready to kill themselves. And Alicia Cara doesn't add much to the song either. Guys, if you need help, seek it professionally. I can't stress that enough. Millie, I can't stress that enough. Because... I mean, having people around you to help you and support you is great. But in the end, it won't fix things. Go seek a therapist or psychologist if you're dealing with anything. Alright, let's get on with this list. Number five. Believer by Imagine Dragons. The percussion is very loud and makes my ears ring. Also, the song is very clear on what it's talking about, which is... Die! Get my reference there? This song just doesn't talk about pain. It makes me feel pain. While the song has some good vocals, I don't like the rapping in the verses because it's so slurred and so black. I just, I would just hate it. I was debating to put it, this on my list and I think I was right in doing just that. Only hoping it can get better. Number four, Gucci Gang, My Little Pump. The song was made by a 17-year-old from Miami, Florida. His rap name means small dick. This song is less than two minutes. It's not even an original song. It's so darn repetitive that it makes me want to just turn off the radio and never turn it back on. The beat and sound effects are stolen. And I know the song was made at the end of the year. However, it still qualifies for the list. Trap music is so popular now, so anyone can just say a word over and over and it is okay. How terrible, like anyone can say a word over and over, it's okay. Calendar, 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 calendar. Anyways, let's just move on. Number three, Rolex by A.O. and Tao. Okay, usually I don't like to put trap songs on my list, but it's becoming so darn popular that I have to. Uh, if you show me any trap song, I would probably not give you an opinion. You would know it immediately. You know if I hate a song or like a song immediately. <clears throat> just saying. Anyway, it's just another repetitive song. Don't dip, you know, don't. Don't dip your, your luxury watch in ranch dressing. You want to roll it with double ranch. Yeah, I actually know what that means. Don't, don't. Don't, don't, don't think I'm not that less intelligent. I know what that means. I mean the line that says, all I want is a rolly with a double ranch. I know what that means. Anyways, I hope rap music would just turn around and come out good, but no. Are you ready for number two? Are you seriously ready for number two? Because I am. Um, I'm ready to move on because I don't want to talk about rap music anymore. Um, are you, re are you ready for it? Let's move on. Number two, Are You Ready For It by Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift is deteriorating little by little. She's trying to be 
other pop princesses. I hate the chorus and verses. Looks like the rap singers are singing and the singers are rapping. That is terrible. Where has pop music gone? Seriously. I hate the new Taylor Swift and I just want the old one to return with her country music. But nope, that won't happen. And now for some dishonorable mentions before we get to number one. Saved by Ella Shikara. The annoying clock in that song just doesn't do anything. Uh, if it does do anything, it doesn't work. Also, Ella Shikara doesn't sound convincing for her guy to stay. Look what you made me do by Taylor Swift. <clears throat> like I said before, Taylor Swift sucks terribly. Her music is dying slowly, and I hope she does the same. I mean, die in, you know, in shell. Die in shell, yeah. And die slowly. Die slowly in shell. Say you won't let go by James Arthur. His voice is so darn slurred. I mean, I first liked the song and then disliked it. It starts out with him talking about a terrible time when his girlfriend got sick, you know, when they on their first date. Then three verses being nice and trying to paint a beautiful picture of the perfect husband and what he would do to her and, you know, all the nice things. Except for the fact his falsetto sucks, his voice sounds like every word is slurred, and, like, he doesn't even know how to be a perfect husband. His voice sounds like a little two-year-old trying to talk. Go to enunciation class. All right, strip that down by Niall. This is another sex song. It got annoying very quickly. I never enjoyed One Direction, and I don't know, and I don't enjoy the songs that each, you know, person from One Direction wrote. I'm getting sick of Niall already, and I already mentioned that earlier. Not really, but I'm getting sick of Niall, and I'm not really a big fan, so bleh. I can only hope he makes better songs. <clears throat> All right. Time for me to get out my rage. Time for me to talk about the number one song, the number one war song of 2017. Time for me to really rage. Time for me to rant. Are you guys ready for it? Number one. This song should be on everyone, every critic, worst list. Body Like a Back Road by Sam Hunt. <clears throat> I'm sure that this song is going to be on every music critic's list this year because, or last year, you know what I mean? That's how awful it is. Okay. This is going to be a very long rant, and I am going to tear this song to pieces. First of all, this is a top 10 country song. How? Seriously? It's not even a country song. At least it doesn't sound like one. It sounds like another shitty trap song, especially with all that hooting and hollering in the background. <laughs> this song was number one for 34 weeks on the iTunes charts. That's how annoyingly popular it got. Also, it's another sex song. But what makes it different from other sex songs I've mentioned is that the, it compares a girl's body to a back road. That is the worst possible insult someone can ever say to a female. In the music video, they got married and that was a song to her. Like, how is that ever possible to tell a girl she's got a body like a back road? A back road has a lot of cracks, dirt, and other shitty things. You know what I mean? Roadkill. Is that what you tell your wife or your girl? Huh. <sighs> but how long will she stay with you in that relationship? You tell her that she's a piece of shit? How long will she stay with you? <sighs> Why? Why did you even marry her in the first place if you think like that? Also, the guitars in the song are auto-tuned, and this... And sound just like pieces of garbage and terrible drums trap sounding backing vocals is sam hunt becoming or trying to become the country version of drake seriously that's what it sounds like i'm wondering why i like this song at all in the start well i'm going to stop before i you know i'm going to stop talking before i call sam hunt sam cunt oops yeah i just called him a terrible name Ah, there you have it. I have rambled on about my, well, 
Well, you know what? Also, I have to admit something that this song was just... I liked it and then I didn't, so... You know what? I had to take out my race on that song. That song also just has a terrible music video, too. <clears throat> if you really want to look it up, go look it up. I'm not even going to put the link in the description like my last one. <clears throat> and there you have it. I have rambled on and on about my top 10 worst songs of 2017 and probably raised a bit. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your opinions in the comments below. Music lovers signing off, but always remind you that at times it's okay to be random.